Okay, so here's another one going out. This is a 2332. I'm not gonna say who it's for, but if you see the name, you kind of figure it out. Um, this one's built to run a uh, blow through, so it's gonna go up there and into there and the throttle body behind it. Because of that, it's gonna have uh, actually a water to air intercooler. Uh, because of that, it's gonna run higher than normal boost level, so it's got some things on it to make more and more power. So some of the things I did, of course, plenums. I did two inch into the plenums, three inch into the manifolds. It's got big, I think it's 4237 CNC ported heads. Uh, I did inch and a half header on purpose because it's got a, uh, it's a T25, we call it T28 turbo. It's ceramic ball bearing, dual, dual bearing, uh, ceramic ball bearing. It's got the billet wheel and all that. But this little baby is going to be operating at roughly around 16 pounds of boost constantly. So it's going to have everything it needs to constantly make power. So I did the exhaust pipe coming out it's going to be a uh, um, notch back tube chassis notch back from what i understand so this is going to come out in the center in the back should be pretty badass sounds really good it's got the crank trigger like normal uh if you notice well so here's the unit but all the sensor wires are mounted underneath there and they come up and then there's the o2 and there's your, your temperature there and your crank trigger, just, just to hide it, to get all the wires kind of hidden, keep the front end clean. I mean, these can be routed anywhere now. Uh, it's running the little port injection going into the plenums. Basically, this squirts injector on this side, injector on that side, yet there's still two injectors upstream. Um, and it's basically, it's dropping into this. It's a, a four inch wide by two inch into a two inch pipe that connects into the plenums, basically. And it's all solid mounted. It's, it's on there pretty good. Uh, it's running a double disc setup. The reason for the double disc, and you can see there's, that's why it's notched there. The reason for the double disc, this thing's going to make some decent power. It already made good power, and it's going to be able to basically uh, push more than your standard stage two or something would have. Uh, with the double disc, you're actually running, you can't see it here, but it's a stage one uh, setup on it. With that uh, stage one, in fact, there's a little alignment marks for when we balanced it um, with the stage one wouldn't hold normally on or stage two with a six puck or something like that with this it's going to hold no problem because of the double disc clutch setup on it so here's your little hookups there's your two stage rev limiter parts and everything on it but there you go there's a little blow through i still gotta include i gotta put in here the uh the water to air intercooler, the piping, the pump, the uh, blow off valve, and then there's a water tank. All that's going in here too while we're shipping this out. It's got rocker girdle set up valve covers. Those who don't know, you don't need it. Those who do know, I did it to this motor. Uh, the only thing I know is I'm missing, where the hell did it go? I don't see the dipstick. <laughs> I don't know where the dipstick is, so I can go grab another dipstick. Um, it's got the little crank trigger with the magnet. If you can see that, oh, there's a magnet down there. It's right there. That's a magnet right there. All right. Too bad this is all taped up and everything. Otherwise, I'll show you. Oh, it's running bypass oil control. That's where it returns back to the sump, that little blue tape there. Uh, I have the turbo drain going back to the Type 3 location, I think. Oh, no, I can go back to the sump. I forgot already. That's right. I'm using Type 3 for the dipstick, or for the temperature for the fuel injection. All right, so this is 2332. It's designed to run on pump gas. Be a driver and work at high RPM, but yet still high boost for long periods of time. So let's get this guy out of here. Oh, for those of you who are wondering, you can visit the website, lowbugget.com. Call me at the shop here, 714-639-4284. Or you can go on Instagram, lowbugget underscore VW. Or stop by the shop here. I'm in Orange County, California. All right. Everybody have fun.